MEA's first annual awards gala is brought to you by Soaring Eagle, CIA, Blue Cross Blue Shields of Michigan, Wayne County Treasury, Walsh College. It's Zahara Perez here at MEA's first annual awards dinner. It's such an exciting night. And with me now is one of tonight's awardees, Mr. Ishmael Ahmed. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We're so honored to congratulate you on all your efforts in the community. What does it feel like to be a part of MEA's first annual awards dinner and to be one of our honorees? Well, it's an amazing event. I'm proud to be here with so many of the fine leaders that this community has. And uh, this station has done so much to get out information to people who really need it. Uh, when I was director of the Department of Human Services, they were always there to help get information to those in need. Uh, they've done a great deal to help popularize Arab Americans and Chaldeans, Chaldean Americans and their accomplishments and get out the word to the community in so many ways. And speaking of that, we're talking about expanding our field of dissemination, such a great deal. MEA is getting ready to launch its broadcast to 22 Arab countries. So how does it feel to know that this independent cable station is gonna be broadcast in the Arab world? I think it's great. As a person who travels the Arab world and works with a lot of people in a lot of countries there, it's important that they have a sense of who Arab Americans and Chaldean Americans are, what they can do, uh, what kind of connections there can be, and, uh, you know, a sense of who we are and what we are. How huge is this for a little independent cable company in Southfield? I think it's gigantic. Uh, you know, I was uh, involved in the very, very early years of the station and have watched it grow over the years. I'm very proud of uh, Wally Jadan and, uh, you know, and the television station and where it's gone and what it does. And finally, what does it feel like? If you could describe in one sentence what it feels like to be one of tonight's awardees, what would that sentence be? It's wonderful. I've, uh, you know, frankly received awards in many, many places, but this is one I'm truly proud of. Senator Carl Levin, thank you so much for being with us on our first annual MEA Awards Gala. Um, this year, MEA is honoring six community leaders from the Chaldean and Arab American community, like Michael George, Jane Shalal, Ishmael Ahmed, uh, Irma Elder, Haifa Fakouri, and Tariq Dawood. So what do you think is the importance of recognizing these leaders? And I'm sure you as a congressman have worked with these people, have met them before. I work very closely with most of them, and uh, it's a very, very important uh, relationship. It's, uh, the power of the Arab American community is real in America. Uh, the uh, connections to elected leaders are real and important. We count very heavily on the Arab American community to give us information that is so important to us, uh, because uh, back home in a lot of, uh, of the Arab world, we are deeply uh, involved one way or another. And uh, we need to learn a lot, and uh, the source of a lot, an awful lot of information is the Arab American community. Um, we are celebrating as a media after being in the United States for 20 years. Now we're celebrating also launching to the Middle East as the first media to broadcast and take these stories uh, from the U.S. there. What do you think is the importance of such a step to be able to connect between our culture as U.S. citizens and what we go through to the Arab world? Uh, the Arab American story is a great story. It's the story of America where people from different parts of the world, in this case from the Arab world, come here, work incredibly hard and succeed. Have opportunities and make uh, the best of those opportunities. Uh, overcome all kinds of barriers to do it frequently, but uh, succeed. And uh, this is a true American story and it's one that I'm awfully glad that uh, you're telling in a way which I believe will be real in the 
words of the Arab Americans uh, instead of other people. It'll be the words, the feelings, the stories, the reality of an Arab American world, and that's important to be told. A final message uh, from you to the community, Arab American community, with everything we're going through right now in the United States, and especially these budget issues and everything else, what would you tell everybody right now, from this dinner tonight to them? Uh, I just want to uh, thank the Arab American community. There's a lot of challenges which uh, have been overcome, and there's more challenges mm -hmm. to be overcome. But uh, America is a place of change. I can't tell you how much change has taken place in this country during my lifetime. I started off 60 years ago now as uh, in the Civil Rights Movement. I was an attorney for the Civil Rights Commission in, a, in Michigan when it first came into existence. We were fighting battles against discrimination back then, which we won. There were a lot left to be fought, but there's been so much change in a few years in America knows how to change. We make mistakes, um, we're far from perfect, um, but we know how to be honest, to be open, to be able to talk about mistakes, mm -hmm. to challenge each other, to challenge each other's attitudes, to learn from each other. The diversity of America is incredible. It's a source of our strength. Mm -hmm. We, other countries, different people clash their problems. It, this country, for the most part, and again, we're not perfect, but for the most part, the different people's stories and backgrounds are a source of our strength, and uh, the Arab American community is a big, big part of that strength. Mr. Mike George, you're a leader in a Middle Eastern American community. Uh, tell us, how do you feel about your being awarded from the MEA TV and their first annual dinner tonight? Well, I'm very happy to be here, but uh, very frankly, I think there's a lot more people out there, especially younger ones than myself, that deserve awards. Uh, at, at my age, I don't need them, but uh, you know, I want to look forward to bringing the younger people up to receive awards and let them become part of the community. The MEA TV is one of the channels, the first channels that's going to broadcast it from the United States to the Arab world, telling them about how does the Middle Eastern American live in the United States. What would you tell us about that? Well, I've been involved with the uh, MEA for many years since its foundation with Wally Jidan, and I'm very proud of the fact that we're able to send our messages to the whole world and to help the image of the Arab community. I think that's very important. What would you like to tell the awardees tonight, beside you? What would you like to tell the awardees tonight? That, what would you like to tell the other awardees tonight? I don't understand that. What would you like to tell, like, Mr. Hay Dr. Haifa Kapuri and other awardees? Oh. How would you? As far as, you're talking about the honorees this evening? Yes, well, I think that all of the honorees are great. And when I saw who all the honorees were, I said, since this is the first annual party, and next year it will be the second annual party, Thank you for joining MEA TV in its first annual awards gala. Happy to be here. As you know, tonight we celebrate uh, six Arab and Chaldean award uh, community members who've accomplished a lot in this community. It's for community leadership and development. What do you think of these award recipients and what's the importance of recognizing them like Michael George, Tariq Dawood, Jane Chalal, Irma Elder, and Iva Fakhoury? Well, I, I think it's great not only for the community to see tangible role models of people that have done a great job and have excelled in their chosen careers, but it's good for people outside the community to see the diversity and the capability and the professionalism. You know, I mean, Irma, I've known 
for years in the auto activities in Haifa and uh, social services and you know all the different kinds of fields and communities that this community is involved in and more than just involved extremely successful so it's great to have an opportunity to celebrate it and, and talk about it and and uh, as my grandma used to say sometimes you need to blow your own horn because no one else will so we're blowing their horn um, Sheriff also this year we are doing this annual gala to launch our uh, MEA to the Middle East as the first media broadcasting from the United States to 22 Arab countries. What do you think is the importance of such a media in building bridges between the United States and the Arab culture and the youth? Well, I think it gives them a direct connection, a direct insight into America and its culture that, that the community, that Arab, Arab Americans, Chaldeans, all the different people that are here have assimilated and excel and they're part of America, and I think that's very good for the Middle East community that may not know that, may not be able to see it otherwise, other than through the MEA. Um, sheriff, a final message for you to the community as a sheriff and uh, someone who did a lot of uh, service to this community for so many years. Well, um, it's an awesome community. You should be here next year, be here, and support the MEA uh, by watching, tuning in, and expanding their programming here and across the world because that allows us to share this kind of message and that's a good message to share, positive message about a very positive community. about what it feels like to be here at MEA's first annual dinner and to be one of our awardees. You know, this is very, very important for the entire community to support the TV program because it's part of the educational process to help our community to get to know what's going on. And it's a wonderful opportunity for everybody to know what the TV program is doing to our community. How do you feel about the programming that you see on MEA TV and radio? It's an educational awareness and basically to enhance the role of the community, to get to know what's going on, to defend the community right, to provide them with services, and to open doors for them, especially now when we need all the information we can get to our community to be helped in that process. Now, Dr. Fahouri, you're, you have such an integral role in bridging gaps between different communities, and that's what MEA TV and radio is getting ready to do by launching our broadcast to the 22 Arab countries. So how does that feel to be a part of that? It feels it's a great communication avenue for all the people in our community, locally and abroad, to get to know what's happening and to learn about the opportunities, to be engaged and to be involved as far as many, many opportunities for them and to bridge the gap between the local community and the global community. It's needed. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Thank you so much, Dr. Fahoudi. Such an honor and congratulations to you.